coverage, of course. We have crews spread out all across the state covering Ian for you. But we're going to start with Local 10 News reporter Roy Ramos. He is alive in Key West. Roy? Yeah, and overnight we really started to feel the wind and rain moving into the area. Well, you can see that things have progressively gotten a little worse right here behind me. You can see those waves slamming up against that seawall right there as we begin to get a little more rain here. In fact, you could probably see some visitors taking their picture next to the southernmost point as conditions obviously worsen. Probably not the safest thing to do as Hurricane Ian moves closer. Hurricane Ian gaining strength as the storm is expected to skirt along the Gulf Coast of Key West Tuesday. While there is still no telling where the powerful storm will make landfall in Florida, residents and business owners have boarded up, put up storm shutters and sandbags as we are already starting to see high winds, rain and flooding moving into the Conk Republic. Well, the storm still has yet to reach us, but you can already start to see what it is doing to the waters in the Gulf, just slamming these waves up against the seawall right here. And this is before the storm even reaches the coast of Florida. Nerves are getting a little bit high, but, you know, hopefully everybody stays safe. Justin Ash told me this is his first time in the Keys and really didn't know what to expect. The Lower Keys still under a tropical storm and storm surge watch, and it's with the advice of local residents he is now heeding the warnings. Some locals said, hey, it's going to hit us. Be prepared. So we're going to go get some supplies. Visitors we got a chance to speak with don't seem to be too concerned with Hurricane Ian, but it is the residents who live here who are worried, especially with all the flooding that is starting. At Key West High School, emergency management allowing hundreds of residents to park their cars on higher grounds at the school. It's there. The cafeteria is also being used as a shelter for those living in houseboats, other vessels, RVs, and mobile homes. As for visitors who flew in, at this point, it looks like they'll be riding out the storm with the rest of us. We're supposed to leave today, but our flight got canceled, so we're stuck here for a couple of days. And as we come back out live to the waves just slamming up against the seawall out here, I can tell you that we did get a chance to speak with emergency management. They tell us at this point the airport does remain open. However, inbound and outbound commercial flights have been canceled for the day. They are urging any visitors uh, that may be here in this area to check with their airline for when they will be able to travel out of Key West. As for the weather, we're going to remain out here and give you all the updates that come our way in reference to the conditions as they begin to slowly deteriorate. For now in Key West, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Hey, real, real quick question, uh, those folks that said they got stuck there because their plane was canceled or their flights were canceled or some of the residents that are riding it out, what's the supply situation there? Are the stores still um, okay in terms of water and other supplies or are they wiped clean? So we were actually uh, trying to find out that information for ourselves and our crew to see if we could be able to access um, any supplies that we needed as well. And it turns out there are a few stores like Publix that will remain open, but they are closing earlier in the day. I believe Publix was closing at 4 p.m. Um, and there are a few other uh, places that are kind of just monitoring the situation. If the weather gets bad, they say they will have to close. I'm not sure those people behind you are too smart, right? Right. <laughs> Boy, they're getting awfully close to the water's edge. All right, we'll talk to you a bit later on. Thank yeah. you, Roy. And there are 